I chose State OCS because when I got into the National Guard, I had already had my bachelor's degree completed. Um, State OCS was a way to um, sort of accelerate being able to commission as an officer, and it was more convenient and it's doing the traditional OCS um, out of RTI afforded me the ability to maintain my civilian job um, on top of training to become an officer. I, I had already gone to college and I came out and I had a really good civilian job, uh, but I still wanted to uh, I still wanted to serve. So it was it was the perfect uh, route for me because um, state versus federal, I'm not gone for you know an, an extra 14 week stretch outside of basic. I was able to come back, uh, drill for a couple months with my unit, and then go down to RTI and start uh, OCS. So really for me, it was it was the scheduling and it was the flexibility. Uh, they worked really great with the employer. It gave me the opportunity to become an officer and uh, without you know taking a toll on my civilian uh, life. For me, it was um, how to be a servant leader and what that truly meant. You know, at, in OCS, the tasks that we were given, you were not done as an individual unless your whole team was done. And so what they looked for in us was our initiative to help our battle buddies um, to our left and right. Because at the end of the day, you're only as successful as your entire unit is. Um, so if there's a job to be done, you're not done until everyone's finished. Um, you know, being a servant leader means you're taking care of everyone in your charge. Um, everyone to your left and right relies upon you to, you know, be there to support them, um, be there to fight for them if they're going through something, and just the overall soldier care. Um, and being a servant leader means you're putting the needs of your soldiers ahead of your own. It's not about you, it's not about your rank, it's about those that you've earned their trust and their respect and they know that you're going to take care of them. The, the difference for me and one thing I really liked was that you have a lot more time to absorb the information that you're, you're getting in the, in the classroom. So you get, you, you have a drill and then you have a, an entire year's worth of drill in your phase two um, to, to work on these things and, and talk through them throughout the month uh, with your class and your instructors, they're always available. Um, versus drinking out of a fire hose, and that's with you know any army school that you're you're going to for an extended period of time, days back to back to back. You've got time to, to slow down, absorb the information, walk it back, and, and talk through what it really means. OCS definitely transformed me into the officer that I needed to be for the soldiers that I've been entrusted with. Um, I learned a lot of very valuable lessons there. Um, how the decisions that you make you know, can have a, a huge impact on your soldiers, the second and third order effects of those, those decisions and to not take the weight of this responsibility lightly. When leadership fails, troops suffer. I guess that's the, the biggest takeaway. Uh, but if I was gonna dig a little deeper into that, it just, again, fine tuning your planning, understanding as uh, an officer, as a leader, hey, you set the tone, you set the expectation for that platoon, for that company, for that battalion. They're looking to you to be the professional for whatever level of unit you're leading. Leading is hard work. Uh, got to be prepared for the hard work, uh, but you got to show the effort, you know. And OCS is a place where you definitely will learn effort if you want to be an officer. But definitely fun time, but, but just definitely uh, learn to put that effort into your work as an officer. The, the work-life balance through the state program is, uh, I, I really appreciated that. For someone that has an established job, you know, so I, I wasn't job hunting, I loved what I was doing and my group at work was, was good enough to, you know, support me, you know, when I was gone for basic and I said, I'm going to make this route as easy for my workplace as I possibly can. So the, the one week in a month and, and the Muta 5s and the way that it's tailored to people that, you know, that have jobs and can't, they don't want to take off all day Friday. It takes a little bit of work outside of uh, the weekend, but not, not enough to where it really impedes you know, what's going on in your home life.